Hi, this is Razorwire, and this is day two of my Twin Flame Symbol series, and we are still working through the animal cards, and I am using the Spirit Animal Oracle for this. And the first card we have is the Sandpiper Spirit, and this is Be Playful. Sometimes on the journey we can get very intense, very serious, uh, very quickly. Um, we want answers. We want to know, um, you know, what's going to happen next with the journey, with our connection. We want to know what our what our partner is experiencing and feeling. We want to have, you know, everything resolved neatly. We want to pro what we consider to be progressing on the journey. For most of us, means we want union and we want it right now. And sometimes by any means necessary. Um, sometimes uh, one of the twins will try to wake the other twin up forcefully. Um, and this is to remind you to have fun in your life and in your journey and to not be so quick to define everything. You know, the twin flame uh, relationship is unlike any other relationship we've experienced before. And as I've said on my other videos, why would you want to make it into a lesser relationship? Why would you um, consciously choose to mold it into a stereotypical relationship, a relationship that you know um, won't have the same depth of emotion, a relationship that isn't based on unconditional love? You know, why would you want to turn a relationship that is based on unconditional love into a conditional relationship. So this is all about, you know, having fun, being lighthearted. You know, every time you get the chance to talk to your twin, you don't need to jump down their throat and try and extract any information. It's not an interrogation. Just remember that when you're talking, it's not an interrogation. Have fun. Get to know them. Laugh with them. And uh, next we have the Bat Spirit, and to read, birth is assured. So throughout this uh, journey, you are going to go through uh, many deaths and rebirths um, because you are growing and learning. A lot of you have heard uh, about the ego death, for example. Um, it takes time, you know, um, to work through um, our ego our ego issues and to see the bigger picture, to see, you know, beyond our ego. And you can't force that. You can't force that kind of awakening. Um, this card also reminds one of the hanging man here. You know, he's hanging upside down. He's gaining a new perspective. He's got the crown chakra activation going on. This is about the connection, you know, with the five, with the five D realm, with dreams. Um, you know, this is to remind you of the spiritual um, connection and to release the 3D attachments, the superficial attachments, um, you know, and seek a higher uh, spiritual perspective. Um, yeah, so this, this card is all about, about awakening and, you know, ascending into our higher selves, to, into the higher version of ourselves. And so allowing ourselves to be kind of cracked open, to let the light in, allowing ourselves to go through these cycles of births and rebirths as we kind of, you know, rebuild, rebuild ourselves. And the next card we have is the cat spirit. And, you know, cats, they represent independence. Um, you know, and this is to remind you that you are complete in and of yourself. And you don't need someone else to complete you or make you happy. You don't need a relationship or another person um, to define your wealth, you know, at your worth. <laughs> um, you know that our sense of self-worth it it comes from within. You know, and if you rely a lot on external validation, you know you're always going to be unsatisfied. You're always going to have this sense of emptiness. You're always going to be dependent on other people's reassurance, you know, but this is telling you to depend on your uh, your own in internal wisdom, your own um, beliefs, you know, to pave your own path. 
Uh, then we have the dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. And you've probably heard the dragonflies associated with deep, deep spiritual transformations. Like this is like this deep uh, reprogramming. This is like DNA changing, you know. Um, it's not surface level. This is, you know, the changes that take place, you know, um, within the 5D, within the fiber of our our very being. You know, this is um, seeing beyond beyond the veil of ego, you know, into, you know, into the other realms, you know, into the other dimensions. So this is a very, very powerful card, and this is a sign that your, you know, your third eye chakra and your crown chakra are really awakening. You might start at this time to become aware of certain gifts. Um, psychic gifts that you maybe weren't previously aware of, or if you were aware that you had some gifts, you might notice that they are becoming stronger. And then we have the draft spirit, and that's seen the big picture. You know, drafts have those really long necks, and you know they can see you know above things. They can see the bigger picture. They can see. Um, you know, a lot further into, you know, like a lot further in their environment. So this is about taking that higher perspective. Um, you know, when something happens, try and think, you know, what is this teaching me? You know, how am I growing from this experience? I might be uncomfortable right now, um, but in the long run, is this experience, you know, going to be a benefit to me and of into my journey and the answer is yes because all the experiences we have you know we have in order to grow us to evolve us to the next level you know and this the card is about looking beyond immediate satisfaction beyond ego satisfaction which is always temporary and the bee spirit the, the bee spirit and this says sweet uh, results await you know, so this is a sign of good things to come, um, you know, of that kind of the sweetness of life, you know, rewards for hard work. This can be a sign of communication. And to remember that communication comes in all different forms. You know, bees communicate through dance, uh, for example. So there's all types of communication, ways of, of saying and expressing love. Some people do express um, their love verbally. Uh, some people express their love through action. Some people express um, through gesture. You know, they have very expressive faces. Um, you know, some people have a very infectious laugh or smile, and that's how they, you know, convey things. Um, some of you are going to be getting signs within your dreams. Some of you are getting signs through music. Um, or through synchronicity. So don't dim dismiss any of those forms of communication as less than. A lot of times we think that the only form of communication that counts is, you know, direct communication with our twin. And even that communication is often, we are only considered valuable if they say whatever it is that we want them to say. Um, but this card is about focusing on uh, the positive, on the on the good things that are in your life, and the value of all those different forms of communications, because people express love in a variety of different ways. And then we have mouse spirit, which is tend to the small things, and this card is about if something doesn't feel right, if something seems off. If you are trying to force a situation, you know, with your twin and it doesn't feel good inside, you know, um, then you need to listen to that, you know, because we have, um, you know, senses, of other senses, not just sight and touch and taste, that help guide us um, to make decisions that are in our highest good, decisions that will keep us safe. So if something feels off to you, then you need to pay attention to that, to not ignore that sign. If you feel like your twin is not 
really ready for a relationship that they haven't healed enough or that you haven't healed enough, no matter how eager you are for that relationship to begin, you need to listen to that um, and to respect that and to give yourself or your partner the time that they need to grow and heal. You know, this is also about listening closely to other people, not just waiting for your turn to speak, but actually listening to people when they speak, being present with them so that you can notice all of those subtle communications. Because when you're talking to your twin, there's a lot of things that they're communicating to you that are not said with words. So you need to pay attention in order to catch those. Um, next we have Scarab Beetle Spirit. And this is magic works through you. All right, so um, this is kind of uh, when I, I see this, I think of the of the muse, and I think of um, you know how we are sometimes like a um, vessel for the divine. The divine speaks through us. You know, when you create art, um, it's it's. The, the inspiration, it almost has a life of itself. Do you know what I mean? It feels like, um, it, it just, it just when, we, when we're really in the zone, for example, and everything happens so effortlessly without any conscious manipulation or thought, you know, and it's just, we're connected to something greater than ourselves and it's sort of speaking through us and we're, and it's just flowing and we're allowing it to come and it's, and that's what it reminds me of, kind of the muse, um, that we are all magical beings, that we all have the ability to manifest our future. And a lot of that work that we do takes place in, in dreams, you know. So when you're dreaming uh, of your twin, and maybe maybe like myself, you have mostly a 5D connection, um, or a completely 5D connection, as I have right now, then... <clears throat> um, you might not, sometimes you might think that um, nothing is happening. Nothing's happening. Your journey is completely stalled and stuck. But the truth is in the 5D, you guys are working together to manifest um, a future. You're bringing the 5D, you know, into the 3D, but you're also moving in um, to the higher realm of the 5D. Then we have the koi fish spirit, and this card is there is always enough. So you are always enough. You are already good enough. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You don't have to become something other than you are. You don't have to be prettier or richer or to have a better job. You are already good enough just as you are. And oftentimes we are always trying to prove to our twin that, that we are worthy of them, you know, to show that, that we are a good catch to help awaken them because we don't feel like they understand, but they do understand. You know, they are already drawn to us, so we don't have to do anything to attract them. And this is also saying that there's always the spirit always provides for you. You know, you just have to have faith and trust. So it's a sign that if if you are um, thinking about pursuing something um, that speaks to your heart, but you're afraid that you won't get that you won't make enough money, or that you won't, um, you know, be able to enjoy the same comfort and security as you currently do in your um, current profession. To not to worry about that, because spirit will provide things. You know, will work out um, in your favor because there is always always more than enough and you are always more than enough and fish also represent you know feng shui they represent you know wealth and abundance you know you hang i think three if you, if you want to bring in wealth you hang three fish you know like pictures of fish um or three statues you know anything that represents fish and then we have the lizard spirit and dream the world into being. And we talked about this a bit with the scarab beetle. You know, you are dreaming your reality into being. You are working with the divine. You are a creator. You know, you shape your reality with your perspective, with your beliefs. So why not choose those beliefs which 
you know, are supportive to you, which make you feel good, which um, create the type of world you want to see. This is that kind of be the change that you want to see energy. And as you know about lizards, a lot of times they have different types of camouflage, so they are just, they're very adaptable, right? They adapt to different environments and, um, you know, they can either be uh, very, very vibrant and stand out, or they can be, um, you know, completely like hidden, you know, within, within their environment. And so you have that same ability to transform yourself, to transform your reality. Um, then we have crow spirit, and that is co-create with spirit. And this is 17, um, which means that you're on the right, on the right path. Um, and crow spirit speaks of your connection with the divine, that you are working together with the source to create your reality, and that any time you can call on source, you can speak to source and, you know, ask um, for help or um, you know, and talk to Source about the type of life that you would like to create, what dreams you have, and what your ambitions ambitions are. Um, you know, so this is to remember that you have very powerful um, co-creative powers. And the other thing that crows represent, I think, is communication, um, curiosity. Crows are very, very curious and um, playful and, you know, they make use of whatever is in their environment, you know, they're, they're scavengers, they're survivors, so they make use, um, like the magician and the tarot, they make use of whatever is available, whatever resources are available to create. Um, I don't, sometimes people see crows as a negative omen or as a sign of death because they are scavengers, so they are attracted to that you know, scent of death, um, but I don't see crows in that sense, but some of you may see crows in that way, it depends what your personal relationship is, then we have owl spirit, and it says you see clearly now, and you know owls are associated with wisdom, um, they're associated with Athena, in Greek mythology, who's the huntress, and you know owl, owls are very, um, uh, adept <laughs> hunters, um, but owls are also about truth, and sometimes the truth can be painful, um, but this is about, you know, being open to the truth, whether it is something that you want to hear or not, you know, to always, to always seek the truth, you know, to kind of pull back those masks, you know, to cut through all the nonsense, um, and, and to see, you know, what's left, what's real. And we have the bobcat spirit, and that is life is a mystery. And this means that some things are not meant to be known to you at this time. You're simply not ready to know them at this time. There are a lot of things happening in, in your journey in the background that you don't see. For example, we don't always know what's going on with our twin. You know, we don't always know um, if they're doing the work. And like, if your twin has social media and you've been kind of keeping track of them on social media, you understand that social media can be very um, misleading. Um, it can seem like, you know, they're just having having the time of their lives and they're in a happy relationship and they have a successful career and they have no space for you in their life or it could seem like they're indulging all of their all of their vices and they're they're immature spiritually and you know uh, it can be very misleading because we don't really know what happens in the life the inner lives of people you know what sort of things they're struggling with um you know what they do uh when the camera is not on them, you know, you know, when you, when you think about people taking photos for Instagram or something, they can take hundreds and hundreds of photos to get exactly the right, the right shot, but you don't, and you only see that one shot. You don't see the other hundred photos that they took of themselves, just that one, one aspect that they chose to, so, uh, chose to show you. 
So remember that people have many, many layers and that most people have a lot more depth to them than we realize. Next, we have fox spirit, and this is think on your feet. You know, so foxes are associated with cleverness. And if you've ever seen a fox, um, they are very fast, very agile, you know, um, uh, quite impressive in that way. It seems like they have non just infinite wells of energy. <laughs> they, they, they never stop. They ne just never stop for even a moment. Um, and sometimes we have to think on our feet. We have to rely on our muscle memory, on our on our instincts, on our senses, on our reaction time. We don't have time to sit down and think everything through. Um, and a lot of times we get in our way with all that overthinking anyhow. Um, because a lot of times we already know the answer, you know. It's just the ego that makes us worry that, you know, that we've made a mistake in our judgment. So this is kind of about trusting, trusting your instincts and, you know, moving with those instincts. And then we have wasp spirit, and this is sometimes life stings. Um, and this is um, about the harder lessons that we learn, the triggering, um, you know, how the triggering helps us to grow and mature on the spiritual path. And it's painful, and it, you know, it sucks. Um, but it has a purpose, you know. If we we need to, in order to um, have uh, unconditional love to bring that into our lives, we kind of have to be cracked open. We have to um, tear down all of those defenses that we've been, you know, building for years. All of those walls. Uh, we need to take off all of those masks. You know, we need to be. Um, made vulnerable again we need to be kind of in a place of surrender so that we can you know allow um the light in um wasp spirit is also talks about how you know creatures like wasp who we typically think of in a very negative way they also have a function right um wasps keep insect populations down so although wasps are rather unpleasant um, they do have a purpose, and, and so just as some of the qualities within ourselves that we don't like have a purpose, and a lot of times those qualities that we dislike um, end up being some of our greatest gifts if we are able to harness them constructively. Uh, next we have Flamingo Spirit, and this is Embrace the In-Between. And you know, flamingos, well, you've all seen them, and they stand on one leg. So this is about balance. This is basically the temperance card in the tarot. So this is all about moderation. This is about, you know, honoring your cycles. And there comes a time in the journey where um, things kind of seem to slow down and where you feel like you're in this kind of limbo, like you're waiting for something. And this card invites you to enjoy that time, to um, uh, use that time to treat yourself, you know, to work on your own healing, to work on your own personal goals. Um, this is a great opportunity when things happen like this to take a breather, you know, to um, get some uh, rest and relaxation in so that you are ready for what is um what is to come because things will start moving again sooner than you can possibly expect so you know whenever you get a breathe breathing a moment to breathe you know take take advantage it's kind of like when you have a new a newborn child they always tell you that when the baby sleeps you sleep like a lot of new parents will they'll try to clean and cook and you know they want everything to be so perfect and then they miss that window of rest and then they're kind of you know destroyed for the rest of the day so um, this is kind of like that newborn parent, uh, the parent of the newborn realizing that when the baby sleeps, I need to sleep, I need to recover because I'll be a lot more effective if I do that. Things will happen a lot faster if I take that time right now rather than trying to force it. And then we have the wolf spirit and the wolf is a very powerful spirit animal and I'm sure that a lot of you identify very strongly with the wolf. Um, the wolf is a sign that you are on your on the right path um, is the sign of loyalty to to the path to your higher purpose 
Um, the wolf, you know, can represent your higher self. Um, it says here, turn knowledge into wisdom. You know, we often associate knowledge uh, with education, right? Um, it, you know, and intelligence. Intelligence is, you know, the ability to, to solve a known problem, you know, a concrete problem using, you know, things that we have learned. But wisdom, you know, is, is what we get through experience. Um, this is how we adapt to situations which are unknown, um, which we don't already have a formula or a, a stock answer for. And there may not even be a uh, concrete answer for some of the questions. Like, you know, we all know 2 plus 2 is 4. But um, when you're asking a question like, what is the meaning of life? Um, that varies a lot between, you know, individuals. You know, there are some questions that, you know, that don't have an absolute um, truth and answer that applies to everyone. So, um, you know, you have to rely on your own inner senses, your own, your own, um, you know, inner wisdom on what is, what feels right for you. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. And we will have two more of these, um, using the animal deck. And then after, um, I'm finished with the the spirit animal oracle, I will see if there are any more animals I can think of off the top of my head, and if not, we'll move on to numbers. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment.